that's Hunter. Yo, what's up with you guys? It's your boy, Yon Hunter Jr. And check it out. I am going to break down my short form video cover of Earth, Wind & Fire's Can't Hide Love and went viral on TikTok and Instagram. So let's get right into this Logic Pro session. All right, guys, so I started out with this sample and I started it right here. So I basically wanted to make a whole new groove out of that the first thing i heard was like a crazy trap beat over that so the first thing i did was um i eq'd the stuff out just using the uh, stock eq nothing crazy so i got rid of some of the high end and some of the low end because i knew i was gonna need that for the trap drum so i started there i have the hits on a separate track because i wanted to treat those a little bit different so for the hits there's nothing on them so we have these on separate tracks. And so one of my signatures with my short form videos is finding a way to stick my tag in there. Somehow, some way, you guys already know what it is. My YouTube family, y'all know this tag. That's Hunter. I was like, yep, that's exactly how I want it to be. So the first thing that came to me after the sample and finding a way to get my tag in there was the drums. It's a blend of trap with a little bit of R&B. So it's not all the way trap because it's got some real elements in here and let's check this out you know what i'm saying so this kit is actually from my vintage crate kit so you can check that out link in the description for my vintage crate kits guys and it's just giving me this whole vibe um I did do some EQing and some some tweakage on the kick a little bit. We can go ahead and get into that right now. So let's pull up the kick drum and let's go over what's on that. So we have the SSL compressor and that's just basically giving us some crazy punch. Let's bypass that. Let's bypass everything else too. So here's the kick dry. So pretty fat already, but I wanted to add some more punch on top of that. So let's add the SSL compressor. So now you can kind of hear that top end kind of pop out a little bit more. And the second thing I added was the Saturator 2 by Fab Filter, And this is just giving me a little drive and distortion. So you can cut through the iPhone speakers. And once again, I mix this with the intention of people watching this from their mobile devices. So the mix had to be, everything had to cut through um, a phone. That's how I intended it. So after that, then I rolled off some low end with the um, Infinity EQ by Slate. And this is just getting rid of the unnecessary low end. And I knew once again, I was going to add some 808s. So I had to make some space for the 808. So I just rolled off a little bit there. And now we have the finished kick. So everything else, I pretty much left blank. I didn't really touch anything else because these, these other sounds work naturally um, in the mix. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is the 808s. So this 808, I'm pretty, I've been getting a lot of questions about this 808 and, and how it's doing what it's doing. So we're going to get into all that right now. First off, this 808 is not an 808 that you're going to find on Splice. This 808, I actually ripped from um, the Urban 808 contact library from Producer's Choice. I basically resampled that 808 and put it into the, the new Logic sampler. Uh, I put it in here. And I basically took the one note and sampled it in. And I got my loop points right here, did some editing on here. So here's what the 808 sounds like with no saturation. 
So I put the the 808 in here because I wanted to control it and and have a specific type of glide. So let's go back into the sampler and I'll show you my glide settings um, on here. So we can go into detail. And I have 55 milliseconds of glide. Pitch up and down is set to a whole step. And that's all I pretty much altered here. I did turn the release down uh, quite a bit. So you can see my settings here and the amps and the oscillators or modulators. I turned the release down and it's giving me that fast 808. So super fast, really, really fast um, on the release. So I put it in here because I wanted to automate the, the glide and everything coming from here. Let's double click it. Let's go into the piano roll. Then we're going to hit the letter A and you can see my automation. And I automated these glides or pitch bends. And so I, you can basically do that by hitting the letter A. Come over here to uh, it'll, this will bring up your automation window and then come down here and I set it to be uh, for smart controls. And then I went to chorus tune there we have it and here's where i automated all of the glides all the glide is happening here see what i'm saying the next thing that we have going on with the 808s is the saturation so i use saturn on the 808s and this is giving me a major amount of drive so let's check this out with Saturn on. So very nasty. This is giving us a ton of drive or distortion. So that's what's making it cut through everything. Um, the next thing I want to bring up is the Rhodes patch that I use for this. So I use contact and I use the Scarby Mark one and that's giving us this nice vintage vibe. And I tried to stay true to earth, wind and fire by having a vintage roads. Cause that's something that they use a lot in, in their tunes. So. So if you want to check out Saturn or the Rhodes, I have the link in the description for all of these plugins. So check those out at your leisure. So that's what I'm going to using in here. Uh, this is in complete 13, by the way. So this is really dope. I got some panning going on, um, some chorus. Then I turned on the amp, turned the bass down, turned the treble up, and it's just giving us this nice old school sound. Really like this a lot. Yep. Ah, I love that crunch. That crunch is so dope. That's one of the main reasons why I, I flock to um, the roads. Let's go to the choir. Good old choir, gospel choir O's, man. I'm such a choir fanatic. And this choir took this over the edge. Like it just made it super crazy epic. And just the organic sound of it alone just inspired me just to not even touch it. I like the fullness of that choir when everything comes in. It just lifts the whole thing. Like the whole mix just... <laughs> just goes up let's go into the bass so we already talked about the 808 i consider that a drum um, but let's talk about bass for a second so the next bass that we use uh is different so we have this bass pad right here so i basically wanted to emulate the 808 slide it's a new patch but i wanted to have that same glide effect and this patch is the mini v um, by arteria and i have the link in the description for this this is the setting that i used um, for that i tweaked this by hand to get this sound 
uh, messing with the oscillators, the cutoff and all that good stuff. I just put the spreader on there, the logic spreader. Um, that's pretty much it just to make it a little bit more stereo -y sounding. Uh, there's a right way to do this. Um, but for the speed and the sake of this video, I was like, I just need to hurry up and get it out. So this is with it off. And I would recommend doing it this way, leaving it in mono for a lot of reasons. But if you want to add some dimension to your bass, then um, you can you can steal this trick. But please play. I mean, I would really say don't try this at home because your bass can get lost when you put like a stereo effect on a mono instrument. So just be careful. So this is what it on. So you see how it just fills out the headphones, your headphones a little bit more, a little left and right instead of like down in your nose. Next, let's talk about the synth lead. And let's check this one out. Let's see what this one is doing. Got the first synth lead. So this one, I followed the, the melody um, and I used Omnisphere for this. This is the Euphora Anthem lead. And I wanted to follow the melody to make it bigger um, because it got drowned in the mix of with, with the crazy live drums, which we're going to talk about. I'm going to save the best for last. The melody got lost in the mix. so I wanted to double the melody. So I decided to play the melody with this synth. Um, didn't change it. Didn't alter it. This is all stock factory so and it's got like a glide effect on there that i really like too same thing it's just all this whole gliding concept is really dope then we have some bells we have the purple key which is uh, my clutch patches link in the description for clutch patches so the, the the purple key bells, um, they sound like this. Long, you know, really nice bells. And I combine those bells with the D50 stack bells from the JV, uh, Super JV. Uh, this is the virtual uh, JV 1080. I have the link in the description for this. Um, the rolling cloud. This is really dope for stuff like this. Again, it's, it's vintage. And this is just accenting the synth lead. So we add the purple key and the synth lead and we have this whole boom, 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 boom. You know, so it's just making it big. It's just stacking it up. And this is some of the gospel um, influence coming in 100%. So this has a ton of delay on it. And this is also in my clutch patches. Um, and all of this combined is giving us this super climactic high end energy. Very intense. I'm um, working on releasing these, um, but I have like a nice little. And then, uh, then another hit right here. So just to make it super, it's, it's like it's a heavy transition. I want I want it to flip the whole scenario of it being like you know, closed in the box, kind of trap R&B to like this huge, massive arrangement. So with all of that in there, you get this crazy transition. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much what's giving us all that insanity. Now let's talk about these drums. So on the kick, virtual mix rack um, by Slate. And that's just giving a saturation. And then the madness is coming from the SSL G channel. Uh, my YouTube family knows this is my this is my Bible of drums for me. Like it's just my sound. I love this. So 
So if we take this off, we just we're gonna get like a very dry, bland kick. Turn it on, and it just sounds massive. So that's what's going on on the kick drum. We have a little bit of a roll off on the kick. So you can see it's literally like Jesus Christ, like almost 9 dB of that sub. Plus, I'm now granted I am boosting some of the low end here. Um, so I just wanted to tame some of that low end because I knew I wanted to get this mix loud. I just slammed the snare. So I call that comp snare. So I'm using the virtual mix rack, same deal. I turned off the G channel and I used another mix rack. Um, to just slam it to kingdom come. So that's what's getting all those, you know, ghost notes and stuff like that. All those can be brought up. And then when I'm smacking the snare, those notes can, uh, that velocity can come down. And then I have a gain on here uh, just to make sure everything is in phase. Just to, you know, because, yeah, just make sure everything is in phase. But um, nothing was needed, so nothing on that. So then after that snare, the second round, so same thing, the virtual mix rack, um, just for saturation. Then we have the um, SSL G channel, and that's giving us some smack. You know, nice, nice smack. And then I ran it through another virtual mix rack, and I just brightened up the snare because I like the drums to be crispy to cut through all of the shenanigans that's going on with all those synths and you know the sample and stuff like that so that's what's going on with the snare and then let's do the snare bottom with this one my, my whole concept is to do the reverse of the, the reverse compression of the top uh snare so this one is basically giving us like the uh the fast attack where it's just shaving off all the transients so if i were to turn this on the other way you see how the attack came back but when i turn it on flip it this way so i get the release of the bottom and then i get the attack of the top so um same thing i kind of copied the same eq uh same compression and everything like that um, going into this one the toms is sort of like a three chord fold type deal so the toms initially um, I'm just using the the G channel once again and I'm using the rack tom setting that I, and I've altered this um, but I kept the same compression pretty much um, from there and then I have the toms going to the tom bus and all I'm doing there is um, using the CLA drums. And then I'm also using a little bit more of the uh, SSL EQ. And that's giving us this sound. Yeah. So just really punchy and just I just like for those toms to sing, but like controlled. Uh, the hi-hat, nothing special, just the virtual mix rack. Um, getting some compression here, saturation here, rolled off some of the low end um, and put some top in on just to make it a little crispy. So there's the hi-hat right there. I barely even used the hi-hat, honestly, except for that one spot. Overheads, same deal, virtual mix rack. Um, I checked the phase on this, so I did flip the phase to invert them to make sure everything was in phase. And then I have that going into a bus, um, the overheads bus. So we have some compression, saturation. Uh, I didn't really use this one. I don't know why it's there. Uh, rolled off some low end to about 50 hertz. I wanted, I, I guess I wanted the drums to be a little bit beefier. And I didn't really use the revival on this, so that's giving us this sound. So let's come over here. That's pretty much what's going on there with the drums. And then I have multiple uh, auxes and sins. So this is the live drums official bus. So on here, again, just saturation. 
Uh, I brightened them up a little bit around 10K using the uh, Pui Tech. So next we have the drum verb and I'm using the verb sweet, uh, verb sweet classics from Slate. And that's giving me a little bit of edge. So you can kind of hear it at that tail end right here. You know, you can feel it a little bit, but it's just enough to widen the drums just a little bit. I didn't need a whole lot. So all that together, that's literally giving us this moment right here. So let's go to the effect sweep. So. And if you guys want to know and dive in deep with me about how to grow on social media, TikTok, uh, specifically TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram, if you want to grow on those platforms, I now offer consultations. 250 an hour and I'll sit with you and we'll talk about how to go viral and how to make an impact uh, with covering a song like this. If you got some value out of this video, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up, subscribe to that YouTube channel, turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss nothing else from the channel and what's going on everywhere else. That's it for me and I'll catch you on the next one. Happy New Year. Peace.